Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, the background's a little different. I am in Henderson, Nevada, which is like the outskirts of Las Vegas. I'm here with my best friend. Um, we are here for her work conference and she asked me if I want to come along and I'm like, yes, I want to come along. Since I have nothing better else to do besides work, I'm here and I am enjoying this hotel that we're staying at. We're staying at the Green Valley Resort Spa and Casino. I forgot how much Las Vegas has grown so much. Like, I just, I, I really forgot how much it looked like and how much it's grown. But um, so far it's been really good. I've traveled travel no i've seen a lot of cool things and i will leak some pictures here of what i took on my snapchat i definitely want to go check out the pool area but the pool's been closing really early lately so they close at six and i gotta get ready for dinner because um my friends um i guess the company that she's working with um they're like in a partnership or something like that i don't remember but um, they're taking her out and I'm allowed to go so I'm gonna enjoy some really good food so they're taking us out to eat and yeah if you hear that background noise that's the AC on it's freaking hot here hopefully I can probably check out um, more of the scenic view of the pool because I really want to hang out there I didn't get to do that today because I was sleeping in believe it or not I didn't I haven't slept since 3 p.m. yesterday I've been up since 3 p.m., worked all day, and then I was cleaning, I was getting ready to pack, I was getting everything ready, like, you know, I was um, making sure, because, you know, I leave my cat at the house, and just kind of making sure everything I have for the trip. So, yeah, and um, my eyes are just bloodshot, and, yeah, so let's cut the story short. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Thank God that this hotel has not one, but two Starbucks on site. And yeah, just definitely I just went downstairs to make a little couple quarters here and there. And there it was. Boom, Starbucks. They even have a Starbucks like downstairs, like by the main by the main entrance. Like when you first come in, there's a Starbucks right onto your right. You're like, what? Starbucks? What? So yeah, I got this on the second floor, like where the casino and the buffet and the conference rooms and things like that are, are at. So... Yeah, shout out to Starbucks. Thank you. So I'm gonna take a couple sips of that and be ready. And yeah, let's get to it. So of course I went in ahead and moisturized my face. I went ahead also and prepped my lips here. I use a lip scrub and this is my favorite lip scrub at the very moment, which is from Lush. It is the um what is this called mint and julep lip scrub from lush it is very very good i love it makes my lips super super soft and smooth I'll go ahead and use my lip balm Bad, bad. My back hurts so bad right now. I guess I should have prepared myself here instead of doing it late. So I'm going to go ahead and get into my priming business. This here is what I love to use. This is my, my Holy Grail primer. It's from Makeup Forever. And then it's the Step 1 Equalizer and the Smoothing Primer. And again, I love to use this. Um... So just to use this to smooth out my large pore. Well, not smooth out, but to fill in my large pores I do have. Um, and to smooth out my fine lines that I do have. So yeah. So I always use another primer. Like I always use two primers, but I forgot to pack my second primer. So it's okay. It's all right. All right, so I moved you guys in a little closer. Just... So you can see what I'm doing. And my face doesn't look this perfect. Just saying that it doesn't look so smooth. 
it is my um, camera deceiving you just be aware of that so what I like to do it really depends on how I'm feeling right now I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation first and then my eyebrows just like I said it depends on my mood there's times like I like to do my eyebrows first and then put on my foundation but today I feel So I'm going to go ahead and just do my foundation, but let me just go ahead and use this guy right here. This one is Smashbox um, Primer Water. That's my little travel one. <laughs> I love to soak up in this. Like I just love it like, whew, so amazing. So kind of let that kind of just dry and set in. Take a sip here. And if you guys want to know what I'm drinking, this right here is a venti passion tea lemonade um, with three pumps of mango. And it's pretty darn good. That's what I've been loving. Sometimes I'll get it just like regular here, but there's times where I like to get it blended. Blended is perfect. It's like a frozen drink kind of, but it's so good. So I'm going to be using this for the first time. I did pick this up over at Target the other day. Ooh, excuse my nails. My nails are so dirty. But this is a BB cream. I'm really, really wanting to try BB... Really wanting to try some BB creams. Um, I did try BB creams, like, in back in the day. My first one that I loved so much and I got a sample from uh, as a perk from Sephora. It was the Dior, the Dior Skin BB cream. And that was beautiful. Like it really was. After that, I tried the Garnier BB cream, and that was all right. So I thought I'd stop using BB creams because um, they kind of tend to grease up a little. But since I'm out here in the desert, and I really want to give this a try, but I don't know if I should just because I feel like BB creams should only be used like when your skin is like dry. I don't think it should be used like when the heat. But you know, I don't know. I don't know what the rules are in makeup, but you know what? You make your own rules. If you feel like wearing a BB cream, you wear it. If you don't want to wear a BB cream, it's up to you. I mean, I don't think there's any right or wrong way, but I feel like that's just the way I was told was that BB creams are only supposed to be worn like during the winter time, just because when your skin is so dry. But you know what? We're gonna break the rules, and I'm gonna go ahead and try this puppy out. Like I said, I got this up at Target. It is the Maybelline Dream BB Fresh uh, Beauty Balm. And it does have an SPF of 30, which is awesome. And I got the color 120, which is medium sheer tint. And I'm so glad that this hasn't been opened. Because, like, when you buy things over at, like, Target or Walmart or CVS Walgreens, you know that those have been used. Which you guys have just tag because I feel like... Oh, anyways. So... I don't know, this is my color. No, this is your color. Oh, I think it is. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's like a tint, so. Hmm. Oh my gosh. This is like so hard. Hold on. I think I put way too much on. It's okay. It's okay. Like, I don't know how much you're supposed to put out because this is my first time using this product. And I did use BB creams, like, a while back. So, I'm going to use my beauty blender. I'm just, like, hurting myself here. Huh. This BB cream is actually really nice. Like, do I have anything on my skin right now? <sighs> ah. Maybe this is just a perfect color for me. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's a little crusty in my eyes. It's okay. It's okay. I don't know how you feel about this. I mean, it's looking nice, but I don't know. I guess see it up close. Like I said, this, my camera is being deceiving right now. Because it does have a smoothing filter on it. Like, I turned it off. But it's still there. I did break it right here and right here. I think that was, like, from 
flying over. Um, I did notice that it is picking up on some of my dry patches, this Beauty Balm. Like I have a couple dry patches right here in this nose area and a couple here on my forehead, like here, here, and um, yeah, like a couple here on my nose. But other than that, it's really good. Now, like I said, this is a very, very sheer um, BB cream. Like I said, I don't see anything. I mean, it may look like I, I don't know. I don't see anything. Like I don't see anything at all, which is kind of crazy. So moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and continue putting the face together. I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up my face. So first I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with my face powder, which is from Makeup Forever. And I'm in the color, it's a do matte, do, do matte, yeah, do matte, the color 205. It's gonna give me some color. Ooh, girl. It's just kind of give me. I'm just kind of set the beauty balm, and just kind of give me a little more coverage. As you can see, I'm just kind of patting it into my skin. I'm not like swirling anything yet. powder in like especially with this kind of brush like it's so dense that I don't bother to kind of swirl too much just because I feel like when you swirl in on top of the foundation I feel like it's it kind of cakey and patchy and it kind of moves the foundation so I'm not pressing so hard onto the face because like I said before um I feel like it does kind of move the foundation and it makes me a lot cakier and that's me so ooh, this is looking lovely not bad so moving on to bronzer i'm gonna go ahead and use my little um travel size Too face chocolate soleil use my third brush at the moment and it's the elf flawless face brush gosh i can't some of this and yes oh, I love the smell of this hmm. I think the lighting is starting to change so now I'm gonna go ahead and go back into bronzing again bronzing bronzing again using my makeup forever pro matte Fusion in the number 30M. <laughs> it's really hard when you don't have a really good mirror. So far, I think I'm loving this beauty balm. But I'm so sorry my lighting is really bad right now. See, it's like really good. Like, if I just don't move, it looks really good right now. But when I move all over the place, it's starting to catch these really bad shadows. And I'm so sorry. I guess I should have started doing my makeup earlier. So I'm just sitting down, laying, being lazy, and watching friends. I'm gonna go ahead and use my favorite blush, and this one's from MAC, and it's the Warm Soul. Man, I love it to death. Like, I hardly use this, but I love it so much. Um, it's starting to go down, which is good, yay. You know what I forgot to do? Was put on my concealer. Oh well. It's okay. It's okay. I totally forgot to put on my concealer, guys. I was so happy about this. I was really into this makeup balm or this uh, BB cream that I totally forgot to put on my concealer. So now I forgot to put on my concealer. Um, I always do this first. Well, after I do my foundation, I always do concealer. But it's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's not okay because I set my face with powder. Damn. All right. It's okay. So now the face is nice and done. I'm gonna do my highlight at the very end. So yeah, and I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. The brows I'm gonna do off camera just because um, it does take me forever and this would, it would just take forever. So yeah, it just, it's just gonna take forever. Um, that's why I haven't made an eyebrow tutorial because 
Me doing an eyebrow tutorial will take forever. Like, it'd probably be like a 30 minute um, eyebrow tutorial. Maybe it's over exaggerating, but it does take me forever to do my eyebrow, just to do one eyebrow. So, if you want me to do an eyebrow tutorial, just let me know down in the comment box below, and I will do a, an eyebrow tutorial or video, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I'm gonna do this one off camera because it's take forever. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. Um, so right now I am just doing a little mini tutorial of what I'm doing here. Um, so yeah, this is just like a preview of doing my eyebrows. I'm so sorry I had to like talk to you guys like this in a certain way. Um, in a few clips here, you'll see that I stopped talking to you guys just because um, Cheryl did come back from her meeting and she was too busy talking to me in the background. I'm just like oh, I'm getting distracted, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go along with you. So right here is my Mac um, Pink Pot in Soft Ochre. Again, I will leave everything listed down in the bottom box below. So yeah, I'm just patting that into my eye. Um, the next one I'm gonna go ahead is just go ahead and add some translucent powder onto the eye so it can kind of adhere to something. And I do dust that off at the at this other very clip, and those clips are really fast, but there I'm using a Kylie Burgundy palette. Um, I believe I'm using one of the lighter um, tan orangey shades in the palette. And I'm just kind of, you know, blending that into my crease as a transition color. And then the next color I'm using that um, kind of like maroonish reddish color. The Kylie Jenner um, Burgundy palette is one of my favorite palettes. Like I love it so much that I'm willing to keep, you know, using it and use it as like one of my travel palettes. The next one I'm gonna go ahead and go with is with this Manny MUA Makeup Geek collaboration. Um, I don't remember what the color was called. I think it was called Luna, but I added that into my um, lid color. And I went ahead and used a Kat Von D liquid eyeliner here. You can tell it's a struggle doing my eyeliner because I do have hooded lids. So, yeah. And right here, these are the Adele um, Wispy Lashes. Just kind of chit chatting there with Cheryl there. Because, you know, she's talking to me in the background. So if you see some hands waving, don't panic. That's her. It's not a ghost. And I'm really loving these tweezers. Like, if you guys look at my Ulta First Impressions video. Mm -hmm. I hear you watching. <laughs> I don't know. Julian. And he's like, what the hell is this song? He's like, I just feel I need to listen to it right now. I'm gonna listen to it. What is it? I don't know, I don't know. He said, what is it, too? Alright, I wanna know if you've heard this song before, because I need to hear it right now. Sonia. Oh, what the heck it is? Oh, about tacos. Nobody touch these tacos. This is a burrito now. All right, guys. I'm so sorry I had to come to this. Um, Cheryl, you can obviously see Cheryl distracts me so much. This is the reason why I'm doing a voiceover at the very end of the video. But as you can see, I'm just continuing um, doing my makeup because we were in a hurry, running late. Um, so yeah, everything will be listed down in the description box below, but this inner highlight is from the Mini MUA um, palette called Artemis, the eyeshadow color. Um, the next clip you'll see here is I did use a MAC pigment called Melon. Uh, it's really hard to work with a brush, so I do recommend using your fingers. Other than that, this will be the end of the video, so sorry I had to come to this, but um, thanks for watching, and until next time, I will see you in my next video.